Good morning. Today we are going to do a math activity and we're going to do some sorting and counting groups of tens and ones with Skittles, my favorite candy. Let's get started. Okay, so job number one is going to be sort these Skittles somehow. And the only attribute that is different is color. So I'm going to sort these into groups of color. Let's see how that goes. I'll put my reds here, greens over here, and I have another group of yellows. What other colors do I have? Uh, red, yellow, green, and orange, and kind of a purpley color. So let's go ahead and sort them. So I've sorted them by color. Now, it's hard to tell because they're not organized into groups of 10. It's kind of hard to tell which color has the most and which color has the least, but I am going to make an estimate. So I want you to make an estimate as well. My guess is that maybe yellow has the most and the brown or purple color has the least. So now I'm going to organize them into groups of 10 to see if it helps counting them a little easier. And remember, when you're making the groups of 10, the best way to fill out an imaginary 10 frame is to do, that's five, and then you go one, two, three, four, five. So your group of 10 is kind of going to look like it's in a 10 frame, and then they'll be easier to count. Okay, so I've organized them into groups of 10 and 1s. So what we're going to do now is count each color, write down the number, and then put them in order to see which color had the most and which had the least. Okay, let's start with red. We have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. And 32 is three groups of 10 and two extra ones. For green, let's see, we have one group of 10, which is 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. So I have four groups of 10 and two ones. Now orange, let's see, I don't have any extra ones, I just have three groups of 10, so let's count them. 10, 20, 30. So I have three groups of 10, and zero extra ones. All right, yellow, looks like there's a lot of these. Let's try. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, four groups of 10, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. So four groups of 10, and nine extra ones. And our last color we have, let's count together, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And if you forget what 26 looks like, it's two groups of 10 and six extra ones. Okay, we're almost done. And for those of us who love counting big, big numbers, let's count to see how many there are all together. I combined some of the extra ones into make more groups of 10. So let's see how many Skittles were in the bag. Okay, let's count. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 171, 72, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 179. Okay, our last job is to put these in order from least to greatest. And to do this, I need to look at how many groups of 10. So the smallest number here is 26, because 26 only has two groups of 10. 
but here I see three groups of 10, four groups of 10, four groups, and three groups of 10. So there's only two groups of 10 here. So that is my least, that's the smallest number. Now next, I have two numbers with three groups of 10. So to see which one's bigger, I have to see how many ones. This is three groups of 10 and zero ones. This is three groups of 10 and two ones. So 30 is smaller. Then I put 32. And to see how to finish it off, I have 49 and 42. They both have four groups of 10, but this one has nine ones, and this one only has two ones. So 42 is smaller, 49 is bigger. And now I get to have the most fun by eating all the Skittles. So this is a simple activity that you can do at home. It doesn't have to be Skittles. It can be something you can't eat, um, but maybe you can ask your parents and see if you can do this and have a special treat at the end. All right, thanks for counting with me.